Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Bambi Platfus. This is Almost Pinball, your visual pinball podcast. I'm your host today, and with me is my co-host Ace Danger. Hey, what's going on, man? So today's episode is all about how did the pandemic change pinball and virtual pinball itself. So as we discuss oh, yeah. the the topics of the, our episodes and what we're gonna should talk about, the first thing we both came in mind was. Hey, the pandemic is such a big thing. How did it infect? Had an effect of to the whole pinball thing. And so now, Ace, what is the first thing which comes to your mind when it comes to pandemic and pinball? It sucks that everything's closed down. The bars are closed down. The, the all the arcades are closed down. Um, prices have gone getting kind of ridiculous because the, you know they can't meet the demand. <laughs> and so yeah, it, it, it's just it a sucks. short break here. You 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 sent me yesterday a link to a really wonka. I think it was limited edition pinball on on Pinside. Yeah, <laughs> which was around fifty grand, which is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! That was a Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, it was a Pirates. Oh sorry, 000. my bad, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. which it's, you know whatever. Yeah. You know if you got the if you got that if you got that kind of money then then fucking go for it by all means, but. Uh, in German, where we're saying every day, and a, a dumb idiot is waking up and buys something for a dumb <laughs> price, <laughs> and it was the first I thing <laughs> which I, don't know. I, I thought about that. It, it's a be- I mean, it's Jersey Jack. It's a fucking beautiful game. But don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it's it's absolutely a- gorgeous. Uh, but it, you know, I mean, people are gonna hate me for this, but just like the playfield art isn't really that that great. It's not ridiculously better than wizard of oz or a lot of other games that are it geez, doesn't like, matter but it is definitely not worth 15 grand <laughs> well you know what it is is people want it right now because yeah. they can't get it because jersey jack is only doing guns and roses yeah that, that's the thing in, in, in the capitalistic world that uh, if you want something and many people want something the price is gonna rise that's normal but but that's the biggest issue now in, in the whole pandemic thing because many people have no time to be at home because they can't go to arcades or bars or something like that. They have money and they want to spend it for games they could have free time. <coughs> so now... Uh-oh. They, do you, have, you, you don't have COVID, do you? Uh, luckily, myself not. But in my family, I have now four deaths because of Corona. Um, uh. Yeah, it sucks. So I hope you and your family stay healthy, and also our listeners here stay healthy. So yeah, I, I just had a definitely. hiccup because I drank an afterwork beer right now, and I had it stuck in my throat. Um, where was I before you started? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I totally derailed your <laughs> train uh, no of problem. thought. You were, no, uh, we were talking about Jersey Jack. We were yeah, talking about it was about the prices getting high as fuck, and you see that here in Germany also for real pins the the price on the used market, they rising up high as fuck. A, a pin which was uh, two years ago around two grand is now at three to four grand for the same pin, uh, because people want to play games at home, and th- they can't uh, get new ones because of the lockdown. They they can't produce so much, <laughs> so the right. prices rise. Especially trying to find those older Bally Williams games that are pe- that people are asking ridiculous prices for, like Adam's Family. I mean, why not get it on, you know, if you can get a nice cab at the VPX, why not do it on there? Yeah, you saw that in the last 12 months or so, or the last year, that in the forums, many, many new members are coming in because of the pandemic. And they said, well, I can't afford a real pin. Let's make a virtual pinball. And so they started getting infos in the forums, like in our Facebook group. They, they ask questions, they read our FAQ and so on. And then they have all together one big issue. <laughs> and that's buying a, a graphic cards right now. Because of the pandemic, everyone is working from home, has home office, as we call it in German. <laughs> they need a PC. And for every PC, you need a graphic card. And mm. a year ago, the RTX... It's kind of important. Yeah, kind of important, yeah. And the uh, RTX 2078, the, the one I recommend for a virtual pinball cap mostly, was last year, I think it was 500 euros here. <laughs> and now the same card is 800 euros. So they need Ugh. 
it's, it's almost thirty percent more. Thirty percent, I think, three hundred bucks more for the same car for the same thing, and <laughs> that 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 is like the monitors, the CPUs, everything you need for the virtual pinball machine is rising up. Is it the same here in the US where you live with graphic cards prices and so? I I don't shop around typically for graphics cards. I got my. I mean, I I just got my. Twenty six hundred Nvidia GeForce. I don't really know. I needed it for something, and um, so I don't really shop around too, too, too much for graphics cards. So I'm pretty happy with what I got right now. Probably in about another two years, I'll go out and grab one. But I think I got the one I have now for just under five hundred bucks. Hey, you lucky bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this was like. Three four months ago, so yeah, it was lucky for you because in the group you you read it so often. Oh, that the prices for graphic cards are so damn high. Fuck, and no, especially another thing comes up. Oh, not only the pandemic is making the prices so fucking high, also the Bitcoin miners are making prices for graphic cards higher because the Bitcoin is rising right now. So all they want is making bitcoins, and, and so they start buying. Yeah, are, all bit, are bitcoins the things that? Mario catches up in the air. <laughs> uh, uh, not really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's maybe the best uh, introduction bi about bitcoins. <laughs> bi bi that's 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 first thing that popped into my yeah. head. Yeah, but but it's also a thing. Yeah? In the pandemic, most people can't really go to work. They don't have much money, so they've thought about getting alternative way of getting money and so many come to st uh, trade marketing stock marketing and many saw the bitcoins is rising every day so they start making making their own bitcoins i never really fall i never really followed uh bitcoin oh i have so fuck a fucking story about bitcoins it was around 10 years ago so when bitcoin started then every gamer here said oh, okay i have my uh, I think it was a GTX 770. Oh, let's make or it was 19, 970. Uh, I can't remember right now. Older Nvidia cards. I said, ah, if I'm gonna game, let's make some bitcoins. It is worth some money. You can buy things. And then you have had so four of, of ten bitcoins. And then we had a pizzeria here around the corner who said, you can buy here with bitcoins. And then <laughs> all my friends were, hey, if we're going to play games, we can get free pizza. Yeah, pizza and get video games. <laughs> yeah, perfect combination. So we bought a pizza for one Bitcoin back in the day. Now the fucking pizza was worth 10,000 bucks or so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the most and expensive is, pizza like, in my life. Yeah. What, like, what, like what? One Bitcoin for like what eight hours of gaming? Yeah, it's something like that. It, it was if, if you play an all nighter, your, your your PC was running also, so you you could make bitcoins also. It was so you just sit there with with like on your bed with a fucking bedpan, <laughs> playing uh, video games, just shitting and pissing on yourself. Yeah, and then maybe like that. maybe in a, maybe in a week you might get a free pizza. Yeah, it, 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 you could say something like that. Yeah, and now the the pizzeria guy here <laughs> is is a multi millionaire. He's a billionaire just with bitcoins. He, he because he sold so many pizzas wow. for bitcoins in ten years ago or so, and he hold it all and said someday it will become rich by making bitcoins. And back in the day, everyone said yeah. Go talk shit. Uh, and now everyone said, well, dude, you were like like a guru. You said always oh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, yeah? I thought I heard that it crashed at one point. Uh, it, it, it was around a year ago when, when it crashed from, I think, 5,000 to 2,000 bucks or so. But the last couple of months, they were only rising. But I'd say let's change the topic back to pinball because we are not Bitcoin talkers. Just No. It, it just I affected a little bit of pinball. A, uh... I, I mean, before you brought it up, I thought Bitcoins were the things that Mario caught <laughs> yeah. up in the air. By the way, the Super Mario Bros. Pinball is one of my all-time favorite pinball machines. Really? Yeah, I really like the Gottlieb Mario Bros. machine. One of my all-time favorites. I've had the luxury of checking that out a few times. It's 
I like it. It's pretty it's good. It's a very easy game. I get it. it it's, it's like always if hit I, the left ramp. Oh, yeah. But if I, I could score one at a good price, I'd grab it. Yeah, it's 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 a really for me personally a really fun game. The theme is perfectly made. It, it, it's the perfect for me the perfect ninety table. Uh, it, it's one of the best Gottlieb tables at all, and also it has one of the best VPX tables uh, conversations of it. Uh, oh if you yeah, that play pop yet, pack, dude. That pop pack is fucking amazing. It's very good, yeah, but but not mine. I like the old school style with B 2 S. I like to see the Mario jumping with the mushroom in his head. Yeah, and it, it's more for me. I, I don't like the pop pack, mostly the pop packs. Not, but it's personal. Yeah, this is. It's a very good made pop pack, but not mine. <clears throat> yeah, I like. I liked it. I liked it. I don't know. If, if you for, to my list to all our listeners, if you didn't check out Super Mario Bros. for VPX, awesome game though on VPX. Awesome. Just game. pause this podcast right now. Gonna download the VPX game. I, f- I think you could get, get it on VP Universe. Just check out our uh, spreadsheet, which is linked in our sticky post in the Visual Pinball Chunkies group on Facebook. Now, wasn't that touch and go for a little while where Gottlieb something with the ROM? Uh, it, it's still or, so because Gottlieb uh, took uh, made a, a, a what is the word a takedown request for all Gottlieb ROMs. But if you have Google, you can type in Gottlieb Mario Bros ROM, <laughs> and then you Please. you find it. Because the He's, internet yeah. never forgets anything. You you can find everything with ease. So let's talk about again. my favorite. Oh, my yeah. favorite game is my favorite game is is a boring game. It's Medieval Madness. That's my holy grail. Your all time fav or one of your favs? Ah, uh, one of my one of, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. It, it, I've got it a is a great favorites. game because it is so easy. You can learn it easy, but you it is hard to master it. Theater of Magic is probably my second favorite. Also a very good one, but you need to hit the Tiger Ball. I think it's the Tiger Lock Ball. Circus Voltaire. Ah, not mine. <laughs> I like that one a lot. There's, seen, there's so many good ones. That's the hardest thing about pinball. If you have a real pinball machine and you want to play many games, you need much, much room because every pinball See, machine been- is big. And See, I've never owned a total nuclear annihilation, but that one. I played it once in a row. That room. one seems like it'd be cool. For me, it was like playing half an hour or an hour, really, really cool game. But then I, I, I lost interest in it because the gameplay is fast, but not too much in there. It's a hard game, yeah, but the, if you use it in, in an arcade, perfect game to play with your friend about who yeah. plays the next drink. If you have it at home, it was like, it felt like it gets boring fast, but it's just the feeling. I didn't play it as as long as I wanted to play, but I got a feel that it gets boring fast. Could you hear it? Were, were you, yes. Were, it is yeah. one of the loudest pins in, if you, in real. Right. I, I'd say... The soundtrack is like... Awesome. Unreal. The soundtrack is awesome. Also, you, you can play TNA on VPX if you didn't have right now. You could now, I, do that. I'd say that's that's my favorite game by Spooky. What, what would be your favorite game? Uh, from Spooky, I'd say TNA also. I played the Rob Zombie Spook Show. Rob Spook Show is the Rob Zombie game. Uh, we mm-hmm. had it here in limited edition here, where, and I have it on my YouTube channel where we played the first game on it. And it's so fucking boring game. Really, really boring. Bad man. Yeah, game. A lot, I see a lot of people selling that. Yeah, that, that that doesn't seem to stick around. I don't know why. I I haven't had the chance to play it, but wasn't the Chetsons also made from Spooky? Oh jeez, that was like, yeah, that came and went real, real, real quick. Yeah, that didn't look. I I mean, I love the Jetsons, but that didn't look very good. But it played very good. It it was an empty play field and so, but it, it very played, empty. Yeah, but it, the flow of the play field was good. It, 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 it was a big X. It was a big, uh, cro- you know, X cross. Yep. You know, yeah, that was about it. Left ramp, right ramp. That's it. Yeah. Right from what I remember. Yeah, uh, but it was too easy. How I, much is that going for now? Whew, I need to look up in a German form right now, but you don't see that very got sold very often here in, in Europe. You know, you, you know, it's ridiculous. You know, it's going for for crazy money. Is that Supreme? 
<laughs> in, in Europe, I didn't saw once. <laughs> <laughs> Because it, I believe it's, it's like a limited edition for the US or something like that. But it's also crazy too much high money in the, in the, the first stage when it came out, like 15 or 20 bucks or grants or something like that. It's stupid money. Yeah, it's, it's like with the Beatles Gold Edition for 50 grand. Yeah, or that, yeah, no thanks. I'll pass. Here where uh, we go in, into the Freddy's Pinball Paradise. That's another one. Pin, uh, Beatles with with the uh, pup pack and everything going on with BPX with Beatles. It's also a good table. Yeah, Great, with, yeah. great table. If, if you like electromechanical tables, one of the better ones, yeah. It's kind of more System 11-ish, though. Yeah, not really. It, it, it's like a sea witch. It's, it, it's more like EM for me. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. But they, the way they make it look. Yeah, <clears throat> we were at Freddy's Pimba Paradise when the Beatles came out, and he was one of the rare gold owners, and because he's a huge Beatles fan, the Freddy. And then there was then a, a league, a, a tournament on the Beatles table. And they made it harder, so everyone was only allowed to play one ball on Beatles' table. And it was fucking hard. It was really, really hard game. Not mine, but hard. And it was the same day where I played Deadpool Premium the first time. Really, really great game. I, I like. Now, what, are, what are the differences? What are the differences with Deadpool Pro and Premium? I don't really know. I played the Pro. They they just they just put a pro in at the mall that's down the street for me and I and I, I got to play that for the first time recently, but great game. If I remember correct now the premium has also a RAM with, with the katana on it, with the sword. I think <coughs> that's the biggest difference. If if I remember correct. I, I needed to look up now in the stern pinball page to see the whole difference. So, but if you uh, say uh, right now, yeah, pro probably the RGB light lighting and and some toys, bash toys or something like. That. I, I need really need yeah. to look up. You said right now you have a pinball at the mall, and um, is that a, a mall like where you can go grocery shopping, or is it like a mall if you see in the movies, where you can buy clothes and something like that? Is is a uh, uh, bowling alley in the mall, and they have a couple of games. So you uh, you live right right now in the lockdown. So are you allowed to go to the bowling alley, or is there is there a lockdown right now, and you can go play some pinball where you live? Uh, we are allowed uh, right now. There there are two games, so we are allowed to play those. As far as I know, which was a month or month and a half ago. Oh, at least. But something. I don't know. I, I mean, some you know. Shit might have changed between now and then, but as far as I know, um, yeah, we can go go there and grab a a tasty beverage or some food. Lucky you, play pinball. <laughs> Where I live in Germany yeah. right now, we we are in lockdown. Yeah, you guys now, are in your months. third wave. Third yeah, wave. The third wave. And... Yeah, the 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 numbers are rising again, and we yeah, had now a little bit of getting less lockdown things like we, we were allowed to go clothing shopping again and two weeks later the, the numbers are rising again so we're gonna get uh, next lockdown <clears throat> and if i remember now correct the last time i was playing pinball in the arcade was at ludwigsburg in september or was october last year i made a video also there with um where i was here with roland he is an owner of an arcade hall with I think it's around 100 games he has. <clears throat> and I, I played a Black Knight 3000. What great game. I love Black Knight. And that was the last time I played pinball in the arcade. So yeah, last time playing pinball in the wild in the arcade was when I was at Roland. And since then, we were not allowed to go to a bar, arcade or something like that because of lockdown. So I played much more with my virtual pinball again. It's a fucking lockdown thing. And <laughs> fucking lockdown. Yeah. It, 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 <clears throat> the longer the lockdown is, the, the, the more people you see here like, uh, I don't want lockdown anymore. Go fuck yourself. We, we won't go outside. Well, I, I'd, yeah. rather have lo I'd, I'd rather have lockdown than, than you know, uh, give someone I love, you know, COVID. 
Yeah. Or get, you know, make them sick or get myself sick or, or, or whatever the case might be. So that's fine. I'll stay home. I, don't, I get it. Yeah, it does suck because these places can't, you know, you enjoy these places, but you can't, you can't see, you can't go. They can't stay in business if they're not doing their thing. Yeah. So you're kind of screwed. When yeah. you walk by the, the, the arcades here, uh, my eyes are like with little children in, in front of the candy shop, like, ah, oh, I want to go in there. I want to get everything. <laughs> yeah. And when you go to the mall, are there also arcade one ups and and legends pinball machines which you, you could buy to for as a as we say in quotes virtual pinball for home players? No, no. There's arcade one ups. What do you mean, like yeah. arcade one? Uh, you didn't saw the mini pinball machines. Arcade one up is now selling. Uh, because I saw that here in the group, many of the new members oh, bought a. That's crap. Yeah, that's, I would they, never buy. I would never get one of those. Yeah, but but I saw many of, of in the group buying those arcade one-up machines, and they are now ripping off the parts inside, so they start building again with a real PC inside and. Oh, like, like mo modding them and 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 all that. Yes, it, modding. That's a correct word. They are modding that to the a real virtual pinball in mini size. I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze. I mean, I think if you're if you're gonna go that route, you might as well just spend the money on it. Like you, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, a, a good a, a good graphics card, good PC. Just, and those those cabinets <laughs> are aren't aren't meant to be taken apart and put back together again and modded. And I mean, you, I guess you can get away with it, but uh, I wouldn't re I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know. Yeah. Unless they're really cheap, you you get a bargain. But. Uh, everything is, I know, and um, when you see the prices around 800 bucks or so, and then I'm going to do the math and say, okay, you need new monitors, new PC, controller board, dove toys, right. something like that. You're going to need to, to put in free grants or something like that to get them halfway. Well, not to, mention, not to mention all the time, yeah. all your time. The time also, yeah. And then I'm, I'm going to look up uh, some commercial sellers, good commercial sellers, and they are selling also smaller virtual pinball machines for 2,000 euros with 4K PC inside and DOF inside and something like that. And then I'm, I think myself, why should I gonna make, start modding something like arcade one-up machines for double the price, which I could get right. a brand new one. Yeah. <laughs> But it's like at the end of the day, you're gonna take, you're gonna f open up the fucking one arcade up thing or whatever it is, and throw half of it away. <laughs> but <laughs> I, so, or not use half of it. But I, I can explain why many people are doing that because they are getting bored at home, and they start making something because they have fucking bored. Yeah. I, I saw one dude in in the group last weeks who just have an PC laying around, started installing VPX, asked some questions, and then he asked, hmm, what should I build with a virtual pinball? And then people said, what do you have laying around? And he was like, okay. Then he he went to his garage and, and started sawing the, the, the wood and something like that. And two days later, he had a small virtual pinball machine there. I would say it's almost similar to the arcade one-up. Yeah, as I learned early on when I first built my, my virtual pinball, is that if you don't have the right display or the right technology in your display, you're always going to end up getting lag. And you got to get have obviously have a good graphics card, good decent PC. But if you're playing virtual pinball with lag, yeah, it, it's going to turn you off from virtual pinball. So you really got to lag will always be the biggest issue with every computer based yeah, simulation you emulation. Get that thing. going right away. And with a halfway decent PC and and better monitors you can turn down that the input lag to to a minimum and the the worse your specs are the worse your monitors are the the higher your, your lag is going to be and the biggest <coughs> issue is if you have a virtual pinball machine uh, side to side to a real pinball machine and then you start playing the virtual and the real pinball uh, right after the another then then you will then you are going to notice the the minimal lag of a virtual pinball machine Even if it's only right. uh, 0.5 milliseconds, you will start noticing that that small amount of lag. My my only real complaint with um, 
virtual pinball is that the depth of field or like your viewpoint is never really kind of on par with like a real just something that's in the real world that's physical like if you're in front of a real game and you you can you know move your head around and that connects bullshit with the fucking video thing. Yeah, screw that. That's yeah, not. But, a fix. but you could do that but, also with VPX with the VR headset. But this is not perfect. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. I've done that, and it's just uncomfortable to wear a VR yeah, headset. For me, also, it is a great experience for the first fifteen or twenty minutes or something like that. But then, so after a half an exactly. hour, exactly, you you have the the weight of the the virtual headset on, on your right. head and then you start noticing the, the just the weight even if it's only one or two pounds or something like that you will start noticing it it's like having a backpack on your head all the day and yeah and yeah the playing is not getting comfortable but experience is good but but uh, for vpx not as there as it should be because uh, vpx isn't made for virtual pinball also for the vr emo well, it wasn't initially designed for virtual uh, for, for headsets. headsets. Uh, yeah. If I remember right now, which pinball wasn't designed for VR headsets, but the VPX VR is an open GL shader. It, it, it's a trick to get it to the virtual headset. It, it, I've done it a few times. It's pretty cool, and like you're saying, it's a great experience. But it is a great experience, but not you know the, the only thing, the only the only gripe I kind of have with it is. You know, pinball should be like an open world experience for everybody that you're hanging out with. Yeah. And it's like, I have my wife down here and, you know, maybe a couple friends. And it's like, you do the VR pinball and it's like... You're getting out like, of that experience you, with yeah, your friends you, and family. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's just you at that point. And you're having that experience and everybody else just fucking sees how crappy of a player you are <laughs> on, on the screen and, and, and it's flat, but you're seeing it in virtual reality. Reality, And it's, yeah, it's cool if you're playing around, but yeah, I don't know. It's not, it's not the same as like a physical machine, yeah. but it's, it, it is a great experience. Like if you're hanging out by yourself, it's awesome. It's a great experience, but like I said. But you can't play two player. You can't yeah, not really, because you needed to take down the headset, give it to the next player, and so on. I'd say well, I always take I always take my headset off and wipe it on my balls before I put it <laughs> on my friend's head. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this is not a good closing word for today. Um, we had now a lot of thoughts about how the pandemic affected pinball and especially the virtual pinball community. If you want to say something, write down here a comment. If you have criticism or something like that, or just want to say hi, write down a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Hit down the uh, hit the subscribe button for so you don't miss the next episode. This was now almost pinball episode one. How the pandemic changed pinball. And um, I was your host today. My name was Bambi Platfus, and this was my co-host Ace Danger. Episode uno. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.